Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? This is Dan Henry, uh, Director of Development, Franchise Development with Get In Shape Women. Thank you so much for uh, attending the webinar today. I'm really excited to uh, walk you through this live career and franchise opportunity webinar. Um, and without further ado, I think we should just get started. So we're going to run this uh, webinar in three sections. Sorry, that. Three sections. First section is going to be how to lose 12 to 30 pounds in 12 weeks or less. That is um, that is a kind of our sandbox. That's what we're known for. That's um, that's really what uh, the compelling transformation that we are are known for doing. Um, the next step is how to turn that uh, path, this passion into a meaningful career. And then uh, the last part would be how to open your own Get In Shape Woman franchise. So that will give you kind of an idea of how we're going to be running through uh, the webinar today. So first thing we're going to do today, guys, we're going to start with positive focus. Uh, positive focus is something that we do in every one of our meetings. Uh, it's one of the more, most important things that we do in our, in our franchise. And the reason we do it is because we know that <clears throat> positivity and negativity, uh, they can't live in the same mindset. But positivity and creativity, uh, they go hand in hand. So by starting with positive focus, what it does is it sets your meeting up to really um, start with nothing but positive vibes about and, and, and start off with positive, uh, you know, start, start off with a positive meeting is going to increase creativity and add to the meeting. So I'll go first. Um, I think uh, I say this every time, but please feel free to send in your positive focus or Make sure you say it out loud. Say it with the person you have to be with right now who you're watching the webinar with. Um, just get it out there and, and make sure that you, you start your positive focus as well. So I'll do a professional one and a personal one. Professionally, um, we have a very busy July going on right now, which is great. Um, you know, some, some places always complain about summers being slow, but I feel like we don't have that issue ever. Uh, we're always busy, and, and that's a great thing, that, great thing to have going on right now. Um, personally, uh, I had a great weekend with my family. I have a, a one-year-old and my wife and my dog and I, uh, we live in Boston and we spent a lot of time in going to different art festivals and music festivals and there were these free events happening downtown and Boston and, and the surrounding areas in the summertime really is phenomenal for all these free uh, music and, and festival art, art festivals. So I had a lot of fun with that. So that's my positive focus. Like I said, please feel free to add in yours. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is our purpose um, and our vision. So our vision is made, our, is made up of three different things, our purpose, our core values, and our um, current mission. <clears throat> the first thing of those is our purpose, to empower women through body transformation. And dig deeper into that, it goes back to that first part we talked about of a compelling transformation of 12 to 30 pounds in a short period of time. And that's really, you know, by, by, trans, by setting up this purpose, it helps us reflect back on everything that we do. So every decision that we make in the franchise goes back to are we helping to empower women through body transformation. You know, as we add in new workouts, as we add in um, new uh, studios, new owners, we always go back to are these people, are, is this workout, is this situation going to help empower women through body transformation? And the answer is yes, then we need to implement it. If not, then it's not going to help us to fulfill our purpose. The next step is our core values, guys. Our core values we put out to the world. Um, this is something that we spent a lot of time putting together, uh, and we, we put it on everything that we have. And the reason we do that is because we want to put it out to the world, and we know that it will attract like-minded people, people who uh, have these same core values, people who really um, are in, aligned with these will be attracted to the franchise. And on the other side, People who don't have any alignment to these, um, they won't. They'll, they'll be repelled to not join the franchise, which is not a bad thing. Just because you don't share these same core values doesn't make you a bad person. It just means that you wouldn't be successful in this model. So we we want to broadcast our core values out to everybody uh, and really let the people know um, the uh, how important these are to us. Um, I'm going to go through these guys. I do. You know, we can have more discussion on the core values during our first initial phone call, 
But right now what I like to do is just kind of like read through them and comment a little bit, but mostly just read through them to really make sure that you understand um, our core values. So first, we treat our customers like family. Uh, it's one of the most important things for us. Uh, we know that by treating our customers like family, we're able to have, you know, you know, we, we, we show our love for them. We, we show that we really care for them, that we really want to see them get better and transform. But we also know that by treating like family, you have to have the hard conversations sometimes. You, you have to do these things in order to make your um, family members better people. We have a power, we have a passion for health and fitness. I think that goes without saying. I don't think we'd be involved in this um, in this uh, job if we didn't have a passion for health and fitness. I don't think we, any of us would want to um, be doing this if you know we didn't think the health and fitness were important. We believe in the power of positivity. Um, I mean that goes without saying. If we start all of our uh, meetings off with a positive focus, we you know we put all of our positivity out there and try to repel all negativity. Uh, we wow our customers by exceeding expectations. We under-promise and we over-deliver. Over-delivering is the most important thing that we do. Uh, we check our ego to the door. By checking our ego to the door, we know that uh, if you have an ego, that means you know everything there is to know. So if you check that ego at the door, then you're opening your mind up to continuously learn. Uh, we are continually learning. Uh, that's important for us. We devour our business books here. We devour our workout books. We are constantly looking for the best thing to help to transform, to help our women uh, be empowered through body transformation. And how do we help our uh, franchise owners to uh, run the best business to help the women uh, and empower them through body transformation? We believe in honest and open communication, and that's important. Uh, we don't want the negativity of, of uh, an honesty just kind of hanging in the air. We need to have the uh, honest conversations. We need to make sure that, you know, you're honest with us, we're honest with you, the, we're honest with the clients, and the clients are honest with us, so we can make sure that everybody is um, you know, being successful, reaching their successful goals. Uh, we believe accountability leads to success. Accountability is one of our um, four components. Um, it is uh, something that we truly believe um, needs to be, uh, you need to be held accountable in order to be successful, and if that's holding yourself accountable or being held accountable, and we need to be held accountable as well. So we look for you to do that same thing. And we love what we do. We none, none of us. We all joke about how none of us work a day in our lives. Uh, you know, it's it's not work to go to work today. It's uh, you know, it's, we're we're fulfilling a passion. And the last part of our vision, guys, is our mission. Our mission now is to open up 500 locations by 2024 by developing the best fitness franchise model in the world. We're about 90, 87 locations now. Um, we have 10 years, and we know that we can hit this goal because we've put together the time, we put together the growth strategies, and we know how to reach that goal. And the biggest thing is, is sticking to our core values and sticking to our, our, um, our purpose in order to make sure that we hit this mission. So body transformation, um, that is what we are. Um, there's a lot of great workout models everywhere. There's Pilates, there's CrossFit, there's um, boot camps, but there's transformation nowhere. Uh, and we say that because we know nobody is focusing on all four components in order to create the transformation. Weight training, cardio, nutrition, and accountability. You need to have all four of those. The key is the sum of all four parts. That's the key to body transformation. If you, if you remove one of the parts, you know what? It's, it's, uh, it, it doesn't, it's not as effective. Um, weight training. Weight training is so important. Um, one, it helps to increase lean body mass. Lean body mass uh, helps to increase your resting metabolism. Uh, and then by putting on five pounds of muscle through weight training, you're going to burn actually 200 calories per day. So that's so much better than the person who's not doing any of the weight training because they're not getting that, that extra body, you know, that lean body mass to help them increase their resting metabolism. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to help to increase balance, increase your core. Um, you know, osteoporosis, a lot of our women are in the age group uh, where osteoporosis becomes an issue. So bone density is increased by, um, by, uh, by strength training. So there's so many, so many pluses to strength training. And, you know, lean body mass and resting metabolism is just one of them. 
Uh, cardio. We do 25 minutes of high intensity interval cardio. Um, to give you an example of one of our cardio workouts, you would do, say, two minutes of steady state, which would be just slightly above your comfort level. And then you do one full minute of all out 10. And everything we do, including our weight strength training and including our cardio, it's all on um, the rates of perceived exertion. So uh, we do it on a one to tail and 10 scale, 10 being that you couldn't take one more step after that 60 seconds is up. Like we, even if we gave you $100, you wouldn't be able to take one more step because you just completely exhausted yourself. And that's how we rate um, that 10 level. Uh, and, you know, as we grow, it's scalable because, you know, somebody who's never worked out before may be, you know, a three and a half and a five. Maybe that's their, um, their uh, slightly, slightly uncomfortable and number 10. But as they grow and as they get better and as they get, you know, in the studio more and start to transform, that could go up to a seven and a nine, a nine and an 11 or something of that nature where you're really seeing a huge difference in um, – and, and your growth in your cardio. And also, cardio is going to be your major source of calorie burn. It's going to help to burn fat. It's going to uh, increase your HDL, which is a good cholesterol. It's going to lower your blood, pr blood pressure. Uh, it's going to steady your heart rate um, and lower your heart rate as well. So all those things are really great. The biggest thing, too, is it's going to create an afterburn effect. So when you're done working out, you're going to continue to burn calories for a certain period of time, as long as you fuel properly, to um, keep burning uh, calories with the afterburn. Especially with the, and the reason we do intervals is because we know that we can get the best possible workout in those 25 minutes. The most, it's the most uh, efficient way of, of creating a workout. Nutrition. This is the secret sauce. This is what, you know, uh, we're probably more of a nutrition model hidden behind a really great workout. Uh, we don't prescribe diets. We're not. Um, uh, we're not. Um, registered dietitians or anything like that, what we do is we teach people to re-eat. We teach them how to eat again. We uh, give them a blueprint of what they want to be, of, of certain things they want to hit. They want to get 13 to 1,600 calories per day. They want to get 100 grams of protein minimum a day. We know that if you get 100 grams of protein in, in the uh, framework of a 13 to 1,600 calorie diet, you're going to eat good quality food. It's going to be really hard for you to get that 100 grams of protein by eating 13 to 1,600 calories of funnel cake. Um, eight to 10 glasses of water, 64 to 80 ounces of water per day. You eat every two to three hours. You're eating six, five to six times a day, and then one free day. And that free day is when you're speaking with your clients will often be the thing that puts um, the, uh, the wind back in their sails, to put the color back in their face. Because uh, they, you know, want to have that glass of wine or that pizza or go out to eat or do this, that, and the other thing. We give them that ability. Um, it's just those six days during the week, you stick with your – your program and then one day you have one free day and you can do whatever you want we don't want to know about it um and we tell them that so go out have a ball i will tell you this though um as your body starts to become more used to whole foods eating in a certain way eating good nutrition and without process and garbage your body is going to crave that really bad stuff a whole lot less and it's going to really really want to have the good fuel put into it and accountability. Um, we help you hold yourself accountable. We do weekly weigh-ins. Um, every week you step on the scale to understand where you're at. We push you with your rates of perceived exertion. We make sure you're hitting your number 10. Um, we uh, have that motivation to really, uh, you know, high-fiving when you lost weight and pulling you aside and talking about what happened when you gained weight. Uh, that's part of the hard conversations. And we help to manage your behavior by reviewing your um, uh, blueprints, making sure you're hitting your numbers of, of calories and protein, and um, also making sure that you're, you're pushing yourself the hardest you can on your workout. Workout of the week. Now, this is what we do across the, the, uh, the franchise. This is our part of our strength training. We do this. Um, you get a workout a week every week. Uh, this allows your trainers to uh, review view the video and know what the training is going to be for that week. It's a combination of functional training. Um, uh, it's, it's a strength training with kettlebells and dumbbells and uh, suspension training, body weight exercises. We use a couple machines, a lap, uh, low row lap pull down and a bicep tricep. And those, uh, 
those um, machines, I mean, those, those exercises are what we make up of our uh, workout of the week from. So that's our focus, uh, first, first area of focus, how to lose those 12 to 30 pounds in 12 weeks or less. Um, you can go to our website. There's a um, lose seven pounds in seven days. Um, and you can go in. It's a, it's a free report that you can go on our website and download. Uh, if you're looking to kind of just see a little bit more about us or maybe you're looking to do something for yourself, tee up your nutrition or, or dial in your, your training. Maybe you let the summer get a hold of you a little bit. And uh, it'd be a great way to get back into it. So uh, go to getinshapewomen.com. Um, and you can download that free report of lose seven pounds in seven days. So career opportunities. This is what we have uh, available in the in the studios. We have a manager, we have a full time trainer, and a part time trainer. The manager is a uh, the backbone of the studio. They're the spine. They're the ones who run everything. They schedule the free sessions. They train the trainers. They do the sales, they do the lead follow-up, they do um, scheduling, they do all those different things to make sure that the um, studio is running at a high level. The full-time trainer, the part-time trainer, are the blood, they're the heart and soul. They're the ones who are um, making sure that all four components are being executed at the highest possible level. They are making sure that their four components, uh, you know, they're, they're getting the best strength training and cardio, that people are following the nutrition and they're being held accountable. And that's the, the, the role of the full-time trainer. Now, how to apply for this is you want to go to our website, gettingshapewomen.com backslash careers. You can take a look at the apply online and you can fill out all your information. Now, here's one thing um, to think about when you are filling that out. You want to make sure that you um, fill out and, and put the studio closest to you or if there's no studios close to you right now, then make sure that you are uh, putting in the area you want a studio to open up in because what that does is alerts the talent being in the area and allows us to tell owners as they start to look for new locations, we can point them into the right direction. So a uh, really great way of, of, uh, of, of, for us to help find talent and put, or push owners in those areas to help to um, open up these studios. We currently have 87 locations in 17 states. You can see 55 in Massachusetts. Uh, that's kind of our home state. That's actually all sold out. Um, and, uh, you know, well, basically sold out. Maybe a couple more that would be able to open, but basically sold out. And a lot of growth opportunities out there and a lot of great places to work. So that's, that's turning the passion into a meaningful career. The next thing is a franchise opportunity. This is uh, becoming a Get In Shape Women franchisee. So <clears throat> this flow chart kind of represents the next stage, the next step for you to become a franchisee of Get In Shape Women. A host of, you're in the webinar right now, so you're, you've clicked off that box. Next thing you want to do is you want to uh, schedule your initial phone call with me. Um, that's going to be uh, you and I discussing the webinar, talking about next steps, answering any questions you have. Um, after that, you're going to, and I want you guys to do this now, take out your calendars, go to your um, Outlook or whatever, and circle uh, or star off uh, July 31st, because that's our Discovery Day. Make sure that you put in Getting Shape Women Discovery Day 10 to 3 at the corporate office in Needham, Massachusetts. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there. That's your next step to becoming a franchisee. We are going to really, really, um, it's a really great opportunity. Excuse me for you to uh, meet with the corporate team, meet our CEO, meet our president, meet myself, and we really dig deep into uh, what it is to be part of the franchise. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to vet us, and it gives us the opportunity to vet you. So we wanna make sure that you are aligned with all of our core values and purpose. During that time after the discovery day, we'll hold up to three territories for you until you sign your FDD. Once your FDD is signed, um, that's, you'll become a, that's how you become a member of the franchise. And then you have your new franchise checklist. You'll go through your site selection with me. I'll help you during that process. We'll send out uh, letters of intent to uh, prospective landlords. Uh, we'll go through a lease negotiation. We won't, we're not allowed to negotiate the lease with you, for you, but we are allowed to guide you during the lease negotiation, give you best practices. Uh, we'll put together sample floor plans. We'll do a build out of the studio. Well, I mean, you'll do the build out and we'll help you during that process. We'll give you best practices for hiring your team. You'll come to Franchise School, which is a uh, at the corporate office. It's really intensive training. 
on how to run the franchise. You'll then have the grand opening. Uh, your first site visit will come within a day or two of the studio being open. And then you'll, um, we'll, we have ongoing support. Ongoing support from the time you sign the, the franchise agreement until the time uh, you decide that you no longer are going to be a getting shape woman franchisee. We will continuously support you in, in multiple different aspects. Uh, after the first year, we'll look at your first year. You look at your now, we'll analyze it and see if second studio is the good fit for you. Which our hope is, yes, it is, um, and that you'll be opening up and you'll be a multi-unit owner. To give you kind of get deeper into the operations part of getting cheap women, um, these are our hours of operation. Uh, these are our minimum hours: 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., 4 to 8. We're closed from 12 to 4 for people to get for the managers and trainers to get some time to do administrative stuff and to uh, take some time for themselves because that's a long, it's a lot of hours. And then and it's also a very slow time in the studio as well, so it doesn't really make sense to be open um, right away at that time. As you grow, you're more than welcome to start expanding hours. Uh, and then 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, is our uh, uh, Saturday sessions. And then um, so a lot of people will start to expand that Saturday from like 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, managers typically work 40 to 50 hours. The full-time trainers are around 40 hours. And the part-time trainers are around 15 hours to cover all those. Uh, open time. Again, staying with the operational side, here's uh, our cost for our training options. So three months is $31 per session. We're, we're a paid in full model. So all of our costs are um, uh, broken down per session, but you pay in full for what you want to do. So for example, if you're coming 12 times, a, um, you're coming three times a week for 12 months, you're paying $3,276. Uh, you know, and that's uh, giving you the best price possible for that deal. So again, three months, thirty-one dollars per session. Six months, twenty-six dollars per session. Twelve months, twenty-one dollars per session. Um, startup costs. Um, there's a big range of fifty-one thousand to two hundred thousand, and the reason we make such a big range on this is because there's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, landlords can also will often give tenant improvement money or do the build up for you, uh, and they'll roll it into your rent in the back end. Um, or you have to pay for your build-out yourself through a uh, contractor, so that would be you know, up to a $50,000 build-out. You know, zero to $50,000 for additional funds. We want you to be more like $50,000 for additional funds because we want you to make sure you have money while you ramp up your studio uh, to cover all your expenses. And then equipment, we have great financing deals set up, so you can have 1600 to 25000 if uh, you know if you just decide to buy all your equipment outright. Sample studio expenses, again, sticking with the operational side. Um, this is typically what we see as a sample studio expense. The one thing we have missing from this section is the royalty. Uh, the royalty we can't, um, we don't want to make any claims about because we don't know exactly what you've been making or what you or we don't want to put out there any sort of, you know, idea that you can make a certain amount or do any of that stuff. So uh, the royalty you can kind of figure out on your own. So this would be a typical studio expense. Revenue streams, uh, how do we make that money to cover those expenses? New sales, that's uh, a huge one. New sales is all new, uh, all new leads and clients are coming in for the first time um, and signing up for a package. Upgrades, we allow people to upgrade um, after, you know, up to 30 days of their first, um, so they, if they sign up for a three month package, we let them upgrade to six month to 12 month package within the first 30 days. Uh, for the reduced price. They can upgrade whenever they want after that, but for that reduced price, and they can get um, retroed back to the uh, reduced pricing of the bigger package. Renewal. That's a massive, massive revenue stream, um, especially as your studio starts to grow. Um, when you have, you know, 150 women, and you're creating compelling transformation, and, you know, you have great community in your studios, then people are going to renew every day. They're going to renew without any question. So that's um, uh, a big um, revenue stream. And then protein sales. We track protein sales. Um, we sell protein in the studios. We need to make sure that we are, um, that we know that if people are buying protein, then we know that they are um, following their nutrition blueprint. Uh, athletic clothing. Uh, this is a coming soon option, uh, 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 revenue stream for us. It will be hopefully within the next quarter or so might, would be my hope. 
Um, but it is a uh, we're looking at a couple different lines where maybe like a Lululemon quality clothing that we would attach our own brand to, very inconspicuous, getting shape women logos attached to it without anything. You know, we don't want anything that's going to be over the top or, 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 you know, obnoxious, but just really good quality clothing line that the women can buy. So to kind of get into finances a little bit, financial performance, uh, to give you an idea of, of franchising, franchising is run by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, and everybody uh, has to have, uh, so we're not allowed to make any kind of earnings claims, but we are allowed to put a financial rep uh, performance representation in our FDA. So this is uh, our 2013 FDA, actually. Um, I need to update this, but it's a, uh, you know, the average monthly revenues were 25000 with the average monthly expense for an owner-operator being 18454 with income around $79. Now they're average. Uh, and we had about half of our studios uh, surpass the average. Now this is, uh, this is the people you want to be gunning for. This is the people you want to be looking at as this is my, you know, I want to be top 10. I want to be top 10% of studios. So average monthly expenses for the top 10 are 38,000, uh, revenues are 38,900. Monthly operating costs uh, before manager salary, so owner operator would be 20,566. And then an income of $220,000. Um, so you can see like the definitely the, the difference between, you know, the average to the, the top 10. Great studios, great studios in this. And everybody in this, everybody can do it. Uh, you know, just following the systems, and that's the biggest thing is following the systems and making sure that you're doing doing all the steps. Now we'll get kind of a little bit into um, the new franchisee stuff. Uh, well, I want to talk to you a little bit about territory selection. Um, you know, one of the first things we do is, and we encourage you to do this, especially before you come to Discovery Day, is um, go on ZipWho.com and find some areas around you that you would like to open your studio in. And then you can take a look at the median population income and the population. Because those are two of our biggest factors that we use in helping you to decide your um, location. So this is just a free website that allows you to start that really um, kind of preliminary research for yourself. Uh, by when we're finding a location, we use different. Um, by uh, by finding a physical location, we use different groups like LoopNet, CoStar. They're both commercial real estate websites. Craigslist is a great um, opportunity to find some commercial real estate. I have a connection with a ton of local commercial real estate brokers that allows me to um, find some good spaces as well. Um, this is a, from LoopNet. This is showing a property that's available in Great Neck, New Jersey, uh, New York. Great space. Uh, 1,100 square feet. Our typical footprint is 7 to 1,200 square feet, um, and you know we don't want to go much over 1,200 because you're just wasting square footage then. So we want to keep it nice, tight, intimate, and and clean looking, and we don't want to add just space to add space. So that is the uh, again location. Some of the factors we'll look for is parking. We'll look for great anchors. We'll make sure that you're. We don't need to be bright lights, big city downtown. Because uh, we are a travel destination, but we want to make sure you have, you know, sufficient parking. We want to make sure that you have, you're in a in a good area with a good anchor, and we'll start looking for those spots. This, excuse me, this is some more of our um, areas that we we use to help us find new locations. So this is another software program that we use. Um, these rings are one mile, two mile, three mile rings from the location of uh, 164 Northern Boulevard in Great Neck, New York. Uh, and that allows us to break down the demos a little bit more. So this is a demographic and income profile for that area. If you look at the three-mile radius of that of that great next spot that we looked at in the loop net, 188,000 people. Uh, I'm sorry, 191,226 people in 2013, which is just an out of control. That's a great three miles. You have all that population, but you also have the wealth. You look at the median income, uh, median household income of being 82,000 or 96,000. You have uh, 6,000 households over um, uh, uh, $150,000 a year. You have 8,000 making over $200,000 a year. So you have a lot of households with the potential to make a lot of money. And, uh, you know, uh, who make a lot of money with the potential of being your client. This is a sample floor plan of actually one of our studios out in Santa Rosa, California. We put this together, and this is exactly what it looks like. And the reason we put these together is we want to give it an opportunity for you to go into these vanilla shell places that you'd be stepping into and understand what your 
studio will look like. And uh, like I said, this is the uh, this is if you go into the floor, uh, go into Santa Rosa, and you'll see this studio. Support, like I said beforehand, we give a, a litany of support. Um, we give. Uh, I think, from my experience, I, I can't think of any other franchise that gives more support than we do. Uh, it's definitely a feather in our cap. We give. Uh, you know, fran starting with franchise school, it's a week long um, program at. Uh, at the uh, at the at the corporate office, where you learn everything from free sessions to phone call scripts to operations to marketing to doing the workout, everything is laid out in there. It's um, you learn a lot. It's like drinking from a fire hose at first, but then um, you start distilling it down with these weekly owner calls, weekly support calls, new owner calls, monthly coaching calls, quarterly coaching workshops, annual convention. All these things are helping you to distill all the information learned at franchise school. Uh, down into really great uh, learning pieces, um, and you know we we have more support even more than that. Uh, this is just off the top of my head some things that we have, uh, but we have a little ton of support. The other thing we do is business development coaching. Um, you know we are in the business of coaching small businesses, um, and we help you to realize that we want to help you realize that you have the ability to grow 10x in your in your in your. Uh, studio and grow 10x um, uh, in your own personal. So one of the things we'll do is we'll help you, we'll have you fill out the 10x future, which, you know, you start off with where you're at now and you grow yourself to 10 times. And, you know, part of this is realizing that this is a possibility. You have the ability to reach these goals. You have the ability to grow 10x and now it's just figuring out how to get there. But by writing all these things down, it you know, really makes you say, hey, this is where I want to be. How do I get there? And it makes it real because you know that it's possible. I've done one of these. It's really difficult to do because it's really hard to change your mind. Your mind doesn't want you to make you think that you can do 10, grow 10x, but it's hard to get out of that mindset and really write that stuff down. But once you do it, it kind of sets you free and allows you to start working towards that goal. Get in shape for women uh, are 12 modules. These are our training modules that we go through. Uh, on the weekly calls, we go through a franchise school. We break down one um, module a week during the quarter. We take some of these modules and we go through them at the quarterly meetings and really just make sure that all these are being um, uh, executed on uh, in the studio uh, at the highest level. This is an example of our quarterly meeting. This is one of the pictures from there. A uh, lot of fun. This is one of our roundtable discussions with owners and managers alike. Um, and they're in there just, you know, we're starting to either brainstorm ideas or go through certain things, uh, issues that we had uh, during uh, the quarter that we can help get fixed with by talking with some of these. It's almost like a, it's a mastermind group of, of owners and managers to make it a, uh, you know, to help learn from each other. Awards, we do these monthly, quarterly and annually. Monthly, uh, every month we show our top 10 boards, which is the top 10 studios of the month, and the first place, uh, Studio gets a trophy. Quarterly, we show the top 10 boards every quarter. Uh, first place uh, gets a trophy. And then at the annual convention, uh, first place, um, the franchise of the year gets their special trophy. And then everybody who's in the top 10 will also receive the top 10 trophy. And we also, at the annual, give out multi unit franchise of the year and best approved franchise of the year. So, you know, there's a lot of awards, and we want to make sure that we, we recognize you for. Uh, hitting your goals. Uh, here are the 2013 top 10 owners. Um, great studios, all different walks of life, different people who are running the studio in different ways, but they're just really great. Um, and I uh, really love uh, these people really, really uh, push hard to, to continue for, and strive for great success. Technology. Again, again we'll, we'll kind of touch back a little bit on our um, uh, touch back a little bit on our um, operation side. The technology that we offer in our studio is a company called MindBody Online. <clears throat> now, MindBody is a um, almost like a CRM, for lack of a better term, and we use it in all of our studios. It helps us to track our um, our uh, scheduling. It helps track our client success. It helps to track, um, you know. Uh, packages and when they're up for renewal. Um, so it's a full-on customer relationship model that we're able to use and we allow our um, 
studio clients to use my body as well because they're able to go on there and, and, and access a um, virtual or a uh, web-based scheduling. And if they need to change, for example, say they're going away on a Friday afternoon for a long weekend, but they don't want to miss that third workout of the week, they're able to take a look and say, oh, well, there's one available on Thursday at 3 o'clock. I'll make sure that I'm there, and they can switch up their schedule there. Um, and, it, you know, we don't have to use paper schedules and all that stuff. It allows it very, very simple. So, guys, that is kind of the first start. You made it through the webinar. You're going through there. Um, one of the things I really want to talk to you about is scheduling the initial phone call. It's very, very important. I'm going to send you an email, guys. Uh, the email will have this uh, webinar attached to it. It will also have uh, a calendar for myself to um, uh, schedule a time. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to write down my information. So I got a pen and paper right now. Put it into your Outlook. Put it into whatever. Um, put down my information. I'll also put this slide up at the end as well so you can see um, and leave it up so you can write down the information again if you don't have a pen right now or you need to run and grab one. It's important. The next step, set up that initial phone call. Discovery day. Like I said before, take out your calendar. Put a big red circle around July 31st. Fill in 10 to 3. Discovery day. Get in shape for women corporate office and need a mask. This is what you need to do. This is your next step to becoming a franchisee. Uh, you'll have that initial phone call with me. We can talk more about Discovery Day and what we do there and have that, you know, the, the next steps conversation. But this is really important um, in order to continue your um, interest in becoming a franchisee is attending Discovery Day. There's all the information again, Friday, July 31st, 2015, uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at our corporate office in New Mass. Here are some accolades, guys. Entrepreneur Magazine, um, we've been part of their Franchise 500 for the last five years in a row. Inc. 5000, we've been part of their top 5,000 companies for the last four years in a row. Um, so really, really things that we are very proud of uh, and things that we've, uh, we're quite, you know, it's better than our cap. That we, we've, it's very difficult to achieve those goals, and we've done it for five and four years in a row. Here's some books, guys. Like I said, we're voracious readers here, and we're readers of, of business books and, and entrepreneurial books and uh, a lot of those different things. So one thing I would suggest you doing would be to pick up some of these books if you haven't read them or reread them if you've done it before. Um, the E-Myth uh, talks about why small, why, uh, small businesses fail, and it, it breaks into kind of getting around some of those issues and, 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 and getting back into the root of, like, how you can make your um, business successful. Uh, rich Dad, Poor Dad is about a uh, father and a son. I'm sorry, about two different dads, a rich dad and a poor dad, and the, the poor dad suggests his son to go to college and get an education, and the rich dad uh, says if you want to get wealth, you need to start acquiring wealth-producing um, wealth producing assets. So, you know, it really gets into that whole aspect of, you know, how wealth-producing assets, uh, assets are important to create wealth. By the way, a Get in Shape for Women fitness studio is a wealth producing asset. So it's a great way for you to help to build your wealth. Good to great. Um, good is the enemy of great. Jim Collins classic uh, where he does a case study of 13 companies and um, talks about what makes uh, companies good and uh, what makes companies great. Um, really phenomenal book. I suggest it to everybody. Um, Jim Collins is a great writer. He's a great, um, does his research. Again, great by choice, same thing. You know, Jim Collins classic. Uh, Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, um, uh, priorities, data, and rhythm. Those are the three master, major topics of, of uh, Mastering the Rockefeller Habits. And we really, really uh, focus on those three things to help be successful. In fact, uh, this guy, Vern Harnish, uh, has just put out a new book called Scaling Up where he gets deeper into those things again. So it's another great book to take a look at. Uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, Napoleon Hill's uh, classic about, um, you know, using thoughts as things, realizing the ability of your mind to help grow and to help become rich. And then Unique Ability is something that we, uh, is a, uh, uh, a book from a class, uh, from a, a group that Brian's part of. It's called Strategic Coach. And this Unique Ability book allows us to, it, it, it preaches about finding your own unique ability and finding out what you are not uniquely able for, and then hiring the people around you to make sure that you're able to do your unique ability and then have other people uh, support you around you whose their unique ability is your, their, your, is your weakness. So there's some really great books, like I said, guys, I really suggest um, taking a look at some of these. 
So that's our webinar, guys. We made it through the three uh, major aspects uh, of the webinar. Really, I'm so glad. Um, I'm, I feel like I've, uh, I've, I'm coming right to the end of, of our time, so I'm really glad that we're able to get there. I can answer a few questions as well. Um, so that's the next part I want to do. So feel free to type in any questions that you have, and we can kind of go from there. So let me take a look here. All right. Oh, that's a very good one. Do I need to be have a fitness background in order to own a studio? No, you don't need a fitness background in order to own a studio. Um, we have people from all walks of life who are, um, uh, you know, tech, finance, all these different things. What you need to do is you need to be able to follow systems, commit the full time efforts to the studio, and really, really. Um, go step by step and, and, and just follow all the systems we have lined up for you. I mean, part of being a franchise, one of the beauties of, of being a franchise is that you are uh, the ability to be a um, small business owner, and you also have the ability to uh, have the support of a franchise or who's giving you, you know, the recommendation. So follow that support and, and, and take advantage of that, and that will help to make you successful. You don't, you don't particularly need a background in fitness. And, uh, but if you have a background in fitness, there's always a plus. Background in sales is a huge plus. Um, so those are definitely, definitely some things that you should take a look at. All right, here's one. Um, all right. Why don't you have any in New York yet? It's a very good question. We're looking to grow New York. New York is a big uh, aspect for us. Um, and so I'd like to have that conversation with you about New York because it's, it's a – Brimming market. We have a great area in, uh, in in New Jersey and a lot of great places. Um, we're looking to grow across the country. Uh, all 50 states. We're going to put in um, uh, 500 locations in all 50 states, um, and we had those those plans set up to do so. All right. Go ahead, guys, and feel free to ask any questions. All right, let's see we have a shy group today. No more questions. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, we can discuss more questions on our next call, guys. I know it's uh, 12.45 now. I don't want to steal any more of your time. I do want to go into final thoughts, guys. Um, final thoughts is the way, like we start every meeting with positive focus. We end every meeting with final thoughts. It's just a way of uh, kind of summarizing our entire meeting, making sure that we uh, pull out the great parts of it. One thing I want to talk to you today about my final thoughts today is meaningful work. I think I mentioned this earlier, but didn't really dig into it. Meaningful work is very important. Part of our core values is we love what we do. And doing work is one thing, and everybody can do work, and we all do work, and we all go to work. But the time when you start doing meaningful work is about as great as you can possibly get, because there's no better feeling than doing meaningful work. I do it every day of my life, and I really, really enjoy it. So I hope I can help you uh, do some meaningful work as well. So, guys, thank you so much for the – I'm going to leave this up for a couple minutes, uh, for a couple seconds, rather. Make sure you get my information. I hope you grab a pen. Um, write down my phone number. Write down my um, email. Get a hold of me. I'll be sending you an email as well. I look forward to catching up with all of you. Uh, have a great week, and we will talk soon. Thank you. Take care.